what in the world have I done? Oh my goodness. Uh, ugh, my daughter's been after me to get it colored in a new style, so I guess you'll just have to keep watching to see how this all happened and, and what we did. I hope everybody's doing well. Today it is cold in Dallas. Um, <laughs> when I say cold, yesterday, uh, let's see, what was yesterday? Monday, <clears throat> the heat index was like 112, and I'm not joking, I'm not being funny. It was a hot mf -er out there. And uh, to, I woke up this morning to rain, and I checked the temperature a little while ago, and it was 76 degrees. I started to put on my coat, but I thought, you know, 76 for most people would be a very comfortable temperature, just a beautiful day. So I thought I, I need not get carried away and put on a coat and a scarf. That would be kind of silly. So anyway... Very welcome, very, very welcome change in the um, temperature. So, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, a little get ready with me with a totally different look. We're going to we're gonna be totally different. I'm going to come out of this looking a lot different than you normally see me. So, we are today going to put on a little bit of... Uh, Let's put on a little primer. Let's smear some stuff on this crap, on this face. Let's just get her all smeared up. Now, we'll have to um, look at my mirror over here to do my makeup. More than likely, I'm not going to make y'all watch the whole shebang because um, I don't know. I just don't want to put people through the misery of having to watch, um, like, 30, 45 minutes of me smearing crap on my face. But um, if I feel like it's getting too long, then I will stop it. I'll go do some stuff. Then I'll come back. And I'm going to be wearing a wig today. I'm going to be wearing uh, one of my Gabor wigs. Let's see, what is the name of her? Shoot. I got from my closet to right here, which is not that far, and I can't remember what the name of her is, but before I put her on, I promise you, um, I do know the color is buttered pecan. I've had a request to do something in brown with gold highlights, and I thought, well, she'll be perfect, so I did not, in fact, change my hair like the intro said. I did just put one of my wigs on, and uh, I believe that this wig I purchased at wigs.com, so everything I wear is not Paula Young, so just just to let you know that. But let's get started smearing some stuff. Oh, one other thing. I'm sure none of y'all have ever, ever done this. Let me put my glasses on so I can see you. Okay. I'm sure none of y'all have ever done this, but... I put my wig grip that I've worn for the longest time, I put it somewhere so I knew exactly where it would be. Now, this was when we did the big uh, bathroom makeover. I cleaned out, I organized, I did all kinds of stuff. So I put her somewhere so I'd know exactly where she was. Well, long story short, if any of y'all see it, would you let me know? Thanks. So now we're going to smear some makeup on. And today I'm actually going to use an actual foundation. I'm not going with a, a tinted moisturizer or CC cream or anything. It's only 76. I think I can deal with it. This is my um, L'Oreal Infallible. And it's a long wear, full coverage makeup. I love it. It is uh, really a good makeup. I've worn it for a long, long time. So. I'm going to just put her on with a brush today. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to do a, like if I was getting ready to go out and be in a beauty pageant kind of thing, I'm just going to, you know, you know me, slop it on. Just slop it on so it won't be quite so ugly. And um, if any of you have any 
questions about me, my life, my marriage, my family, my anything at all that would be of any interest, put them below in the comments because I'm going to be doing a Q&A so people can get to know me maybe a little better. Um, I will be as truthful with you as I possibly can. I mean, y'all know the main stuff. You know how old I am. Well, you know I'm 60-something. And, um, you know, you know I'm married, but there might be other things you'd like to know about me. There may not be. So, you know, if uh, nobody's curious, then I will uh, more than likely, maybe I'll ask y'all questions and you'll have to answer in the, the um, comments. That'd be something different. I could ask y'all questions and y'all could put the answers in the comments. That's a good idea. I might do that. So, I might not, but I might. You never know what I'm going to do. Okay, let's, uh, oh my gosh, even though it is a lot cooler, I'm burning up. Whew, you'd think I was going through the menopause, but been there, done that a long time ago. So, can't be that, I don't think. I don't think you can redo it. Um, let's put just a tiny bit the tiniest bit of concealer on here because it doesn't really work anyway. Um, I've gotten to the point that nothing's really going to work on me. You, you just can't conceal them anymore. Can't conceal this crap. And I'm, um, I like to use my fingers, just kind of dab it in and out, dab it in, out and up, out and up. Always want to go up so kind of hide a little bit of the give the illusion that your eyes are not drooping so um let me see now you knew last weekend we had a birthday party for my grandson he ended up uh, god love him he ended up with a head full of stitches he and his older cousin were goofing around by the pool, you know what boys do, and uh, especially boys that age, 12 and 8, and uh, one to another led to the ER and 13 stitch you, but accidents happen, it could have happened to anybody, so we're just getting past it, but he's fine now, he, uh, by the next day, yeah, still a little swollen and bruised over his eye. The doctor said he would probably get a, a big shiner from it, but he um, he has it. It's amazing that he didn't get a black eye. So anyway, I have been breaking out and I don't know what's causing it. I've not broken out. And it's right here Along my mouth, you might have noticed it in some of my videos, and uh, I don't know what's causing it. I don't know if I don't know what it is, but something is doing it. So let me um, let me get my eyebrows on real quick. No, before I do my eyebrows, let's do a little bit of uh, blush and just a tiny, the tiniest bit of color with a bronzer. Don't want to do much of that. big bronzer kind of girl, but we'll do a little bit. Right up under our cheekbones and um, don't go out past your eye on the bronzer unless you want to. I'm not a, uh, I'm not the boss of you or your makeup, so you can do it any way you want to. I try not to, um, to I talk to y'all like I actually knew what I was doing, and I don't. I don't know much about it at all. So, let me get that on. I'm going to put a little bit of blush. I'm going to put on my eyebrows. Then I'm going to let y'all take a break from it, and I'm going to finish up my um, eyes probably. And then I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do with my mouth, I guess, when I wear, um, when I wear a brown, or when I wear shades of brown, 
because I'm wearing a, to me, I don't know, y'all may call it a, a dark blonde wig. I think it's brown. Uh, it's browner than anything I've worn in quite a while. So let's, uh, we'll call it brown. How about that? Okay, we got that on. Now let's get my eyebrows done. And I had to pluck out a few wild hairs, so they may look pretty stupid. They might. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to uh, do my eyebrows real quick, and then I'm going to put y'all out of your misery. Done. Here's my eyes. This is more of a um, cool weather look for me. Just more emphasis on my eyes, less on, on the mouth. But uh, anyway, I had um, one commenter ask me one time. Well, actually, she told me that she thought it was ridiculous to uh, review a wig and style it without a comb. And I just, um, I, I, of course, thanked her for, you know, pointing that out. But I very seldom use a comb. On my hair I just don't and y'all seen me do my wigs I do them with my fingers um, I think the comb makes them look a little bit too quaffed and that's not the look that I like for my wigs so if any of y'all are wondering why I don't use a comb that's why also um, I pull my hair up in two ponies I'm gonna show you the back it is the funniest looking thing because after I got my hair cut, I couldn't pull the back part into a pony. So I'm going to turn around and let y'all look at this little pony. It's cute. <laughs> but since I don't have my wig grip, i got to have something to hold the wig on. Um, so I'm hoping the pony does. But anyway, I did go get the box. And it is Instinct by Gabor and the color is Sugared Pecan G48 Plus. So she's a cutie. I've had her probably about a year. Haven't worn her in a long time. I, I kind of got hooked on the uh, gray wigs, which I need to get back to some of my other wigs because every time I wear a darker one like this, I get told that I look 10 years younger. I don't know. I don't know. Not today. I'm not going to look that way today because I, um, I don't know. I don't feel like I look too good today. You ever have a day like that that you just think, well, crap, uh, I guess that's the best I can do. But anyway, here's what I'm going to do before putting her on. Here's the wig. Okay. You see all that gold in there? I love the color. I love the cut. Uh, one of my subscribers says that I remind her of Jane Fonda, and this wig reminds me of Jane Fonda's hair in Frankie and Grace, and so I should be so lucky. But anyway, that's kind of the style this is. Just love it. So what we are going to do, because I don't use a comb, I'm going to just shake the living crap out of this girl. She's just been sitting for a while, and... I don't know, I think the hair kind of packs down maybe a little bit. So let's see here. Now she has, I believe I've probably done a review on her before, but uh, has a Velcro, has Velcro tabs. And I'm going to tighten it just a tad bit because not having the wig grip, I don't know, girls. Mama misses her grip. I just don't know what to do. All right, I'm going in. Whoa. Dang it. Ran right into my little table behind me. I'm, I've always been accused of being like a bull in a child closet, and I guess I really am. But anyway, here goes. I'm going in. Tail works so well to hold it. Let me pull my glasses off for a second. Get these in like they're supposed to be. Let's get her right to the edge. Okay, so now we're looking a tiny bit crazy right now, but we're going to fix that. 
Okay, let's come over from the left. Let's pull. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think of me in brown hair? Do I look like Jane Fonda? I don't think I do. Let's just pull this all to the back. And I'm not going to tuck it. I'm just going to kind of swoosh it back. And let's pull these over just a... No, I think we need the bangs. I think the bangs look a little better. So, uh, okay, y'all. What do you think? Here, here she is. Love the style. And you can't see a whole lot of my... Just in case, let's, let's mess her up just a tiny bit. Okay, there we go. All right, y'all, what do you think? You like this look on me? Uh, okay, so I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to do a 360, let y'all look at it, and y'all tell me what you think. If you say I look younger, I may have to go back to the brown wigs. Not sure, but I might. So anyway, I'm going to do a 360 and let you see. This way, I haven't a clue what the back looks like. So, up the side. So, there we go. Um, so we are uh, today, we're going to be a brunette in Gabor Instinct. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And just uh, Know that I wish each of you a great day, a great rest of your day, rest of your week. And just step outside your comfort box sometimes. If you're used to wearing brown, try a, try a red. If you're used to red, try a blonde. Or, you know, just, just try something different. Every day, just step out of that box a tiny bit. Just no matter what it is, just the tiniest little bit. And I want to thank y'all for joining me today. If you um, are a subscriber, thank you so much. You don't even know what it means to me. If you are watching and you haven't yet subscribed, I ask that you do. And if you enjoyed it, click the like button, the little thumbs up. And let's see questions below in the comments section. Um, I would love to answer your questions, anything you might wonder about me. And we are days away, just days away, for the drawing for the beautiful Godiva secret wig that is going to be going to some lucky lady out there. So y'all have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.